lovely friends. Welcome to my channel, Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to make this amazingly beautiful relief painting clock. Relief is a sculptural technique where the sculptured elements, for example the clay or texture paste, remains attached to a solid background of the same surface. The term relief means to raise. To create a sculpture in relief is to give the impression that the same sculptured material has been raised above the background plane. So friends, this is one of the best example of relief painting I'm going to teach you in this video. I have literally constructed about three to four layers of relief in each flower, painting them with very easy techniques and just a little bit of gold. So friends, this painting was made with a lot of precautions, accuracy, dedication and care. I hope you will also be able to make the same beautiful painting yourself by watching the whole video and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. All the materials needed to make this beautiful relief painting are shown in details in the video relief painting materials. So friends, please to check out once the video, the link would be mentioned in the description box below with the list of materials and their links which you can buy online. And you can also find the reference on my website which is www.creativearthome.com. So enjoy this painting friends. Friends, first of all, let's check out all the materials we are going to need for this painting. First of all, we are going to need marble dust powder. This is specially for hobbyist and professional artists and this is one of the finest marble powder I found online. So we are going to use a marble dust powder. Secondly, we will need Arabic gum. In the previous video, I have shown you how to make this kind of Arabic gum yourself just by keeping the solid gum pieces overnight dipped in water. You will get a liquid Arabic gum in this way. And next for coloring, we are going to use artist oil colors. These are from Camel. And we are going to need hog hair brushes, which is specially used for oil colors. You can also use normal brushes. Next, we are going to need a base and for a base, I'm going to use a MDF board whose thickness is at least 6 mm and the diameter of my base is 18 inches which is approximately 46 centimeters. Next, for mixing the marble powder and Arabic gum, I'm going to use a ceramic cup, a spoon, a net for cleaning any unwanted particles. Next, a cup full of water and a palette knife of number 1 for spreading the paste, a pen, carbon paper and this is the reference of the painting we are going to make this time so let's start now friends now first of all we are going to prepare our base for that we are going to use a mdf board you can also use a plywood but its thickness should be minimum 6 mm now for preparing the base we are going to make the paste and for that I'm using marble powder in my cup. This is an approximate amount I have for because I know what amount of Arabic gum I have to add. So here it goes through the net. Well, you can see the whole Arabic gum has passed. There's a very little amount of unwanted things which have not passed through it. And now mix it properly. Yeah, friends, you can see the consistency of the paste I have prepared. So this is quite thick, but not very thick. In one time itself, friends, you have to prepare enough paste for your base. And you can see on my base, I have dug a hole in the center. As well as I have already attached a hook on the back side of my base, which will be easy to hang because of it. And you have to always attach a hook before you start doing anything on your base. Okay, so that won't disturb your painting after it has got dried up. So now I'm going to pour all the texture paste on my base in this way then you can see this is water in this mug and this is my palette knife it also has a little bit of water using palette knife start spreading the paste all over your base so i have spread it all over the base now we are going to make the base smooth before it starts drying up and even now use a little bit of water in your finger and then start doing like this using the same water. Start from the center in this way. 
don't use a lot of water that can give cracks on your base and we don't want that okay so i have finally smoothened the whole base now i will let it get dry now friends our base has got dried up completely i have kept it for at least 24 hours to let it get dry it is plain and smooth and you can see no cracks on it but still we have to make it extra smooth and plain as marble so now i'm going to use a sandpaper to smoothen the surface so this is how you have to hold the sandpaper four fingers back one at the front hold it and you have to slightly rub it in round ways like this you can also do it cross like go in one direction first okay and when it is finally completed you have to go in the next cross direction in this way okay so you can experience a very smooth surface in the middle there will be extra powder left out so you have to throw it and then clean it once again so i'll sand it okay now you can see that your base is really very smooth and fine you have to dust off this extra powder which you have got now friends i have finally completed sanding my base so my base is very smooth and you can see it's clean and clear without any cracks so now i'm going to place carbon paper on my base in this way we're going to need two to three carbon papers cover it completely and then place my reference on it in this way and then using a tape i'm going to secure my reference to the base and the carbon paper in this way and then using a pen friends i'm going to go all over the designs and trace this design on my base so that we can start the painting process and now friends i'm going to go all over the design and trace this design on my base same way i'm going to complete tracing the whole design and then i'll show you how it looks okay now friends my tracing part is finally completed so i'm going to remove and now this is how clear our tracing has come up friends so now friends we are going to start the relief part and this is our cone already ready to watch how i have made this cone and about all the materials in details please to view my video persian and relief art materials so now i'm going to cut the cone only how much i need and then i'll start doing the relief part from here So in the same way friends, I'm going to complete the first designing part using this cone and then I'll show you how does it looks, okay? So now friends, this is how it looks when the whole designing part is finally completed. Okay, you can see we have done only the designing part for the first layer and now I'm going to show you how to do the filling. But for that friends, first of all, you have to decide which part you want to give the first layer and then the second and then the third so that you can do the fill up only for the first and the rest of the layers. Now friends, I'm going to show you to do the first layer for this loader for this lotus part. You can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six and seven petals. I'm going to keep the last two petals and rest I'm going to do the filling. And now taking just a little bit of water in my finger I'm going to tap the top surface to make it smooth so that there should be no bulge. And in this way friends I'm going to do the filling for rest of the part which I have decided to do the layers for first, second and third. friends i'm going to do the first layer filling and then i will show you how it looks okay now friends we have finally completed filling up the first layer of design so now we will let this part get dry now friends our first layer of design has got dried up completely you can see here and you have to keep it at least for 24 hours to let it get dry completely and now i'm going to start the designing for the second layer
so friends in this way i'm going to do the lining part for the second layer also and friends when your second layer of design has got dried up like this part you have to decide where you want to give your third and fourth layer for example i want to do my third layer on this petals these two petals and fourth layer on this one so i'm going to fill them up In the same way friends, I have decided to do these two petals as third and fourth layer. So I'll fill them up. And then I'm also going to fill up this part. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to do the designing and filling of the second layer. And then I'll show you how does it looks. Okay. Okay. So now that layer is also got dried up. So I have made one more layer and I'm going to give the final designing part on it now in this way you have to do the detailing part okay so this is finally completed i will let it get dry and then we are going to do the next step okay after we have completed the first line friends we have to let it get dry for at least 24 hours and now i'm starting to place the second line and the trick is the same each time you have to pour equal quantity of drops and lift it in the straight line in this way I'm placing the dots alternately because I don't want two dots to mix up with each other. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to make the line of these dots and then show you how does it looks. Okay. Now you can see that our line of alternate dots has got dried up. It is not completely dry, but it's partially dried. So now I'm going to place a single dot in between them. Make sure that it does not mix up with each other. Now friends, we will let it get dry. Now friends, these dots are also dried up. I'm going to place the center dots now. So in the same way friends, I'm going to complete the border part and then show you how does it looks, okay? So now friends, I have finally completed all the layers of a relief and this is how it looks. I'll show you from all the sides. You can see there are different layers in each flower. Somewhere there are four, somewhere there are even five layers and each flower has its own unique design. In this lotus, there's one, two, three, four layers and here this is the fifth layer of the petal. Center, you can clearly notice it when we will start the coloring part because I'm going to show you all the flowers coloring. Look at this center, how beautiful and how perfect it is. You can clearly notice the volume in the painting. The relief has really given up a very good volume. So now friends, we'll let it get dry for at least 24 hours. <music> 